Hello, and welcome back to LP's LP's. I am LP, and today we're continuing our LP of Mother 3. Last episode, we switched characters. Yeah, it dropped us off here after we did some things with Clint, the father. And now we are this guy, as I've named him Tino. He's a thief, apparently, and there are things we need to grab from the basement. Some tools. And look at that. They're laid out in, in, in presents, little pre-wrapped sausages. It's great. Tino opened the present, a siren beetle. Second present, a smoke bomb. What's, what's in here? It appears to be empty. Or at least that's what's written here, so it's probably best not to touch it. <laughs> you don't want to investigate for yourself? Oh, goodness me, Tino. What kind of thief are you, buddy? Third present opens up, has a scary mask. Isn't that something from Pokemon where we could, could get rid of uh, the wild encounter? We got a tickle stick from the second to last present and the final one, a hypno-pendulum. Well, I think it's safe to assume that these, some of these are equipable, right? Nothing for the head, nothing else for the body. Actually, no. None of those are equipable. Fascinating. And they are all, uh, like, key items. They're not in your regular inventory over here to the left where you would, you know, uh, fill it up with... Like one use items. These items stick around. So we have already met with the wall staples. They helped us ascend the cliff face there when we were going to fight the reconstructed caribou. A siren beetle is a beetle that makes a shrill noise, causes an enemy to stop and cover its ears. The hypnopendulum swayed in front of an enemy to lure it into a deep sleep. Smoke bomb explodes into an acrid smoke, bringing an enemy to tears. And the scary mask scares an enemy, lowering its offense. That is a terrifying mask. Goodness gracious, it's got three teeth and so much tongue. Tickle stick tickles an enemy, lowering its defense. And then of course we have the map. All right, I think that's everything for us down here. Check a couple other things. Yeah, everything is said to be empty. I guess we're gonna take their word for it. You can take a nap on the bed. No need to do that just yet. We haven't actually fought any battles as Mr. Tino here, so he's still pretty healthy. We'll speak to the old dude again. Hidden inside the castle is a treasure with the power to change the fate of the world. Back when the king of Osahoe, uh, Osohi, still lived in the castle. Yes, I believe that's when it was. Anyway, back then I hid this treasure where no one would ever lay eyes upon it. I felt it was too much for even the king of Osohi to handle. Or so I recall, anyway. But the as-of-yet unknown enemy may be trying to acquire it. Under normal circumstances, this would be a job that calls for me, but... Tino, I feel confident that I've hammered every technique I know into you. So try to accomplish this mission yourself. Understand? When you go outside, check behind the house. Oh, I've hidden another mystical thief tool-like item there. Why did I hide them all separately like that? That's what I'd like to know. Well, I refill the box every once in a while when I feel so inclined, so always keep that in mind. Interesting. The old man is senile and knows not why he does the things he do. So he said check behind the house? Tino opened the... Oh, look at that. Tino got a thunder bomb. Fascinating. I would have never seen that. Thunder bomb is a usable item, a throwing weapon made by Wes. It deals lightning damage to all enemies. And he says he re this box, he refills it from time to time. Okay, well, we'd be well served to remember that. Take a look at where this is. It looks like it's in the eastern portion of town. And this is actually a, an area or a part of the village that I have not yet explored, as you can see by the the package lying over there to the east of me. I'm going to have to go and grab that package. If there's one thing, one thing that thieves like, it's a good package. Yeah, bet you didn't know that, did you? Tino opened the present and got some peculiar cheese. Wonder wonder how Tino's going to enjoy that. Does Tino have a limp? Is it just me? He's kind of walking funny. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just got an interesting gait to him. What's up, pupper? My instincts scream, bark at him and say, what do you do for a living? Don't tell me, you're actually a... Yes, yes, it is me. I am a thief. Ignore me as I enter your house. Uh, no, it's pretty laid out, so you can't, can't go do that. We can continue further south, though. So let's do that. Probably can't do much here because, as we just discovered, it is late. But it's worth a shot, right? It's good to, good to investigate, just so we're familiar, at least, with the surrounding area. And there's not a whole lot further we can go, so we might as well round out our exploration here with this nice... Peninsula, I suppose. It's maybe a short peninsula. I don't know. It is kind of wide. I don't know where you draw the line for a, for a peninsula, right? It's it's a body of land surrounded on three sides by water, so I guess to that effect it is barely a peninsula. 
I'm no land addition, right? I, I studied communications in school, so I really am doing the best I can. <laughs> All right, so we've got to find a castle. What's up, Mapson? If you need something from the map loan and map owner Mapson, it must be a map, yes? Well, if it isn't Tino, I see you still enjoy your nighttime strolls. Oh, you want to go to OCE Castle? In that case, I'll mark it on the map for you. Nice one, Mark. Thank you very much, Mapson. I'm not even going to bother asking what you're off to do this late at night, but you do know that Osohi Castle's drawbridge is up, right? That means you can't get inside. But there are rumors of an underground passage that leads to the castle. I bet Nippolite, the gravekeeper, knows something about it. Let's go speak to Mr. Nippolite. But first, the bird. Sparrow advice, during battle it is not uncommon to forget what exactly each item does, right? Has this ever happened to you? It has, actually. When it does, just choose the item you want to know about and press select. A simple description will pop up, which is quite handy indeed. Now, to end this with a sparrow like a chirp chirp. Thank you much, Sparrow. Always the helpful fellow, you and all of your brethren. I do appreciate it. Uh, so, Niplite Graveyard is just south of the castle, actually, I imagine. I had half a mind to go check out Thomas's shop, but then I remembered... Whoa! Oh, par pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. It's a man and a monkey. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry. If you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. The monkey stares at us ominously, doubles back before slowly edging away. Well, I have half a mind to uh, run after you. Where are y'all going? Curious bunch. I don't get travelers here too often, or so I would imagine. And who is this? Oh, but he know. Butch was eyeing his sack. He promised not to tell anyone. I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money? There's money, quote unquote, inside. Well, ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tasmili before. But apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Uh, oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs, and then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Fascinating. Anyway, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? Well, I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm going to hide it in this well here. Tino, this secret is just between you and me. Fascinating. Can we just, like... <laughs> Obtain 50,000... Well, you put it back. Okay, that's what I figured. Interesting. Well, maybe we'll revisit that at another point in time when we actually, like, need money or something, because uh, the shop... The items were free. They were just kind of strewn about on top of the counter, and we just took them as we will. We're given a glimpse of the castle itself, and there is a giant friggin' Heisenberg floating above it. No, it's actually a helicopter, not a blimp. It is defecating. Or something. Three fell turds have dropped from this thing. I have to imagine that we're going to uh, come into contact with some enemies here shortly, maybe before we even get to the castle itself. So uh, we'll go to the graveyard and talk to Nippolite, and Nippolite will hopefully have the answers we seek, or we'll be greeted here with a cutscene. Zombies. Did you not read the sign? No zombies allowed! Oh, Dino... I'm alive. Oh, God, there, there's some more people. There, there's a lot of... There's too many zombies. Two zombies is too many. Oh, he didn't I die. You guys identical twins over here. More. More. Oh, I want to live more. Is this, is this living? You're just intimidating poor Tino here. He doesn't have any pizzas for you. I can't imagine you guys have a functioning digestive system either. Is that you, Tino? 
my how you grow and why there's so much of you I could eat for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! My giblets! A zombie man and his cohorts suddenly attacked. There is three of them. Whereas yes, there was four on the overworld. What can we do here? So, uh, we can't... I don't think any of these really make any sense. Maybe we should scare them with this... No, that's a one... A one person. Is this a one person? That's also a one person. Alright, what about goods? A thunder bomb? Oh, I don't know. No, let's save the thunder bomb for now because this is like a forced battle. This is not a battle we could have avoided at all. So I have to imagine the game will be forgiving enough to uh, make it not impassable, right? <laughs> it's not going to expect us to have, you know, every nook and cranny explored, every possible item. Oh, and there's a fourth one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think the game's going to expect too much of us. We should just be... I don't know. We are losing HP pretty quickly here. Hmm. Mm, we don't even... We have cheese. Goodness gracious. Oh, I should have... I should have eaten the cheese there. Alright, we're going to get 24 damage taken at least. Or roughly, I guess, 24. So let's eat some cheese. How much does it... Tino ate the peculiar cheese. Tino loves cheese. Plus 60. Very good. I love cheese too, Tino. I'm glad we've got this in common. And then we will just, you know, go back to, to bashing these. One of them's making an odd sound. It's highly inappropriate. Goodness gracious. Thought we just talked about you not having a digestive system. Surely you're not spewing farts all over the place. But God knows you've probably been holding them for a, a, a long while. And honestly, the, the male zombie, or the zombie in the back there, kind of looks like LP's brother. The, uh, the red-headed child. I think his name is Claus? Actually, like his canonical name. One left. Thank God we had that cheese. We're barely going to survive this. It's being absent-minded. Yes, please. Go uh, daydream. Think not of this fight. Zombie man returned to the dust of the earth, and we gained a heaping 100 experience points. Tino leveled up to 9, giving us offense, defense, everything. Very good. Okay, maybe we should now go heal or something, because that was a trial. So, I guess we'll go back to Tino's house? I don't know where else we would go to heal at this... Well, hold on, we could... Eh, this house is probably the closest one. I was going to, uh, to Muse, we could go to the spring, but they're an equal number of map squares away, and I'm already, you know, going this direction, so why the heck not? I'm glad that we were able to get through that battle, too without having to use the Thunder Bomb. I'm very curious as to its uh, its capabilities, and I I know that it would have helped us out there, but I'd rather save that for, I don't know, something a little bit more stressful than a forced fight. A fight that the game knew we were going to get into. All right, what's up? What's up, Wes? I'm just gonna, I'm back. <laughs> I, di I didn't find the item, but I got, I got jumped. That's why I got this limp. All right, let's take a quick nap. Will it still be nighttime, I have to imagine so. You're fully revitalized. Quick status check just to be certain. Yeah, it looks to be the case. No PP, again. No psi sensitivity in any of the characters we have controlled thus far. It's probably going to change as soon as we get a play with, with LP, with Lucas again. And to that point, this game has like a, a pretty long buildup. It's not a bad thing, right? Like, it's fun, it's world building, it's story building, it's getting you invested in all of the different characters, but I was under the impression that LP, or excuse me, Lucas, canonically, is the main character And what is this, like, episode 7? I've barely even played with the guy. I've got, like, four hours of game time, and I've just been, I've been rambling about with random adults here. It's fine, it's fine. Uh... Because the adults are capable, it would seem. Uh, LP was pretty weak the one time we did get a fight with him. So, I guess it's not all that bad. Are there going to be any more zombies? Maybe. What's up, Nippolite? Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You sure do love to walk around. <laughs> Good night, you do. Yeah, help me out, dude. I, I, you're supposed to know about a, a secret passage. You know nothing? 
What the heck? I'm about to I'm go inside your little grave hut here. Oh, it's locked. True connoisseurs know that this is the ultimate shovel of the highest quality. Ah, yes. I, I am not a, a connoisseur of, of shovels. A handcart, also referred to as a wheelbarrow. Learning all sorts of things here. Oh my god. So there's an underground passageway here. Somewhere we can go north to get to the castle, but do we even want to go check that out first? Maybe so. Maybe that will be what triggers Nippolite's uh, next set of dialogue, because he was not saying anything about... about anything, really. It's a sketch of the area. Great. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the place. <laughs> that's where we're at, and that's the raised drawbridge. Who's on the other side to raise it? I'm curious, can we, like, holler? Like, what's up, neighbor? It's me, Tino. Ant, 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 ant. From nowhere in particular, you hear a voice. And that voice is mine. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? I'm like standing right here. I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Well, I've been watching you fight for a while now, but I just can't take it anymore. Fights are all about rhythm. You know, like boom, 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 and stuff. When you're in a battle, there's a very specific rhythm that matches the enemy's beat. Pick up on that rhythm and victory will be yours. If you're really good, you can even pull off 16 hit combos. What? What? I hereby name these sound battles. Thank you very much. Eh, really stretching there with the ant. <laughs> Interesting. I am not familiar with that, but hey, there goes the boy Nipple. He's doing something different, and there's, uh, okay, some demons out and about. Can we rest in this bed? No, we can't. I had half a mind to go back out and battle those enemies if we could rest. I mean, we could save, which is good. So we'll do that, and then maybe I will go back out there and fight them, because it's good to, you know, not skip over too many fights. That way we uh, continue to progress experience and level-wise with the game itself. Beef jerky, delicious. Peculiar cheese, also delicious. And we push that out of the way, because of course there's something behind it. And yeah, we'll sneak on through here. Seems that Nippolite's already found their way to the castle. What is this grub? It's nasty little diseased. A detached leech. All right, so I'm listening to the music. If I if I time it, Tino attacked with blinding speed. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to be like a metronome. I'm tapping my controller to the rhythm of the beat. But I don't know that. I'm gonna have to learn more about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I did that correctly or not. I mean, we killed it in two hits, and we did a good amount of damage with each of them, but I don't know that I was actually really affected or affecting that in any fashion. Got the edible mushroom, which is good. We're going to need healing items here soon. We're already down 12 HP, which isn't a whole lot, but God dang it, there's a lobster. I used to sell these babies at the Grand Exchange in 2006. It's a spineless lobster. Well, I don't know that I've ever met a single lobster with a spine at all, so to that effect, friend, I think you're a normal lobster. Brandish your pinchers, I'm gonna... I gotta... Alright, so I'm timing it up. The first two hits I didn't time up. That one I did. It doesn't seem like it actually did anything helpful. But the, the lobster's getting stronger, so we need to get rid of it quick before it oh, disposes of us. Yeah, it, it, was, it was doing 20. It's gone, though. We took that lobster, we threw it in a pot of boiling water, and we feasted upon it, gaining no HP in the process. It's fine, it was merely a treat. Tino opened the present and got a running bomb. Let's well, actually, speaking of snacks and such, take a moment here to eat some beef, well, beef jerky? Eh, we, we would waste some of it, so let's just eat the mushroom. It doesn't really fill us up as much as I'd like, but what? hey, it's fine. Better that than losing the uh, missing out on the potentiality of getting the most out of your food items, right? And now that we got the scoop on this one, we can get a good couple hits on it. Very nice. Prior. Yikes! Oh my goodness gracious, it did a 20 friggin' two. Didn't like that, but thankfully we got rid of it much more quickly than the last one. Crustaceans, they fear me. Tino's a madman. All right, now I think we have the room to eat this. Well, still no. 
It's fine. We, we need it. We need to be healed because one more fight with the lobsters could kill us. <laughs> Don't really want to do that. Grubs! Hello, my delicious little leech friends. You are quite hideous, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, <laughs> use the biting attack. Do not siphon my HP, please. I would not like that. And I think it should only take two hits for us to dispose of each. Yep, there's the first one. My goodness. Yeah, we are struggling here. And we don't have as many food items as we were used to when we were playing as Clint the last few episodes. We had an abundance of food items, really an overabundance. We had to drop food items more often than not. Level 10, HP up by 7, that's good. And we're about to eat our final food item. No, not our final one. We got a mushroom. I don't know that I would I would trust the mushroom that I extracted from the inside of some sewer slug, but whatever. <laughs> Tino's got no standards. Tino eats anything. Let's eat this. Oh, we passed by the lobster. It's fine. We're up here now. No problem. No problem. All right, moving forward. Surely there's more enemies to be fought. More basins here. Whoa, we get a trio. What's up, fellers? And a present that's hopefully food. Fingers crossed. Maybe I should use some of my special spy skills, my thief talents. None of them seemed quite like... Like what I would need, though. Like, the staples can hold someone down, sure. And I guess we can make them cry. Hmm. Take a quick look again. Siren Beetle causes an enemy to stop and cover its ears. For how long? Like, what Like what does that mean? Like, is that indefinite? Or is that just for a single turn? In which case, it really wouldn't be super helpful. That would be helpful. That would be helpful. Hmm. Alright, let's use the scary mask on the first one just to save ourselves, hopefully, a little bit of pain. Oh, it didn't work. No, so there we go. Perfect. Great. Won't you just love to see it? Okay, we're dying! Getting our blood sucked out of us right here. We're gonna have to use some cheese. Yeah, use the cheese. Shovel that cheese in your friggin' mouth, Tino. God knows you need your dairy right now. And that should be good enough to get us through this battle, but man, it's kind of a struggle. I guess it's kind of nice that the game has continued to, uh, to progress its difficulty despite us having to take over a less leveled person. It hasn't necessarily leveled the enemies down any. They seem to be honestly just as challenging, if not more, than any of the enemies we fought as Clint. Xenor in 63, enemy left a present. There's a mushroom. Okay. About to eat that right away, pending the opening of this present. Nut bread! Ah, yes! I was wondering when we'd begin to see some nut bread, and God knows it was extremely prevalent when we were Clint. We're gonna eat both of those, put the mushrooms on the bread. It's a very earthy snack. It's delicious. It's good for a growing young boy. Like Tino. I guess I don't know if Tino's young or growing, but he's a boy, kind of. Sparrow advice. Allow me to discuss one of the main tricks to fighting. How you and the enemy come into contact can give you so the advantage or disadvantage in the battle that follows. The truth is, you won't always encounter the enemy head-to-head -head every time. If you manage to sneak up on the enemy from behind or the side, you will have the upper hand. The enemy will be facing backwards when you enter battle, you see. Conversely, if the enemy sneaks up on you from behind or from the side, you'll be facing backwards at the start of the battle, putting you at a real disadvantage. When the upper hand is yours, you'll see the things in front of you turn green before battle, and when the enemy has the upper hand, you'll see red instead. When you're on equal terms, everything will seem bluish, for lack of a better term. Anyway, to sum everything up, go forth, young man. Go, 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 and all that. So there you have it. Now to end this with a sparrow-like chirp, chirp, chirp. Thanks again, sparrow. Hey, what is up, Nippolite? Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? You made it through that underground passage without being done in by all them monsters? Well, that's really something. One inside the castle, do you? Afraid that's not gonna happen. The gate's locked and <gasps> won't budge at all. Only way inside now is to climb up the walls. Oh. Oh, you don't say. Well, funny little thing I have in my back pocket here in my fanny pack. I've got some climbing materials. Pot po po potato toe. Potato toe? Potato toe. There we go. Give me some of these potato toes. 
I very much love my carbohydrates. Can't grab them. Okay, that's fine. We can explore the courtyard here a little bit, though. Just to see if there's anything interesting for us. What does this sign say? My humble little eggs patch. You gr you eggs? You're growing eggs. You're growing eggs. Fascinating. That seems... I don't know. I think probably could get into the ethics of that. I'm not certain, but... What is this? There's a grate. It is a great grate for it has no problem. There's the locked doors, as we mentioned. Now, where seems to be the right place to lay up our... Our wall climbing. It looks like this is the spot. This wall seems scalable. Climb it? Yes. Beautiful. Well done, Tino. Truly an athlete. A physical specimen, the likes of which we've never seen before. All right, so we made our way up here. This will be some weird gooey stuff. Some sort of waste product. Yeah, it's poop. It's what came from that ship. That giant ship was pooping everywhere. Barely squeezed by. Is there anything else up here for us? Looks like there might not be. It looks like the actual only thing for us to do is to go inside of the castle and explore the inner bowels therein. Ante, ante, ant, ant. Watch where you're stepping, will ya? Oh, I'm standing right here, you know. Why, well, I'm an ant. Don't you dare step on me. Looks like you still haven't gotten the hang of battle rhythms. To really grasp a rhythm, you gotta learn the enemy's beat. Wait. You didn't know you can hear the enemy's heartbeat by putting it to sleep? Well, I knew, so now you better know too. Don't worry though, you can still fight just fine without doing any of this rhythm stuff, of course. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Interesting! So we gotta put them to sleep and we... Put the game to sleep. Oh, I was like, what? We can sleep. That's right, that's just for uh, taking a break. But we do have the Hypno Pendulum. We can sway it, put it into sleep, and then we would be able to... I don't know, to key in on their heartbeat and then punch them right in the friggin' heart. It's pretty graphic, goodness gracious. Makes my chest hurt a little bit thinking about it. But, hey, we're a good guy. We're a thief. I'm killing animals, but we're a good guy, gosh darn it. And we're gonna go explore the castle next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you then.